Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your leaves are so unchanging. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and we're about to go decorate our Christmas tree, and I love decorating the Christmas tree. Christmas trees are so awesome. I love, love, love Christmas trees, and I've always loved Christmas trees, even when I was a teeny tiny little baby. In fact, when I was so little that I couldn't even roll over yet, my mom and dad, they put up the Christmas tree, and my mom, she put me on the floor on a little blanket in the middle of the living room, and the Christmas tree was in there, and I was looking up at the Christmas tree. And uh, my mom went into the kitchen to go warm up my bottle, and when she came back, I was gone. And she thought that I had, like, been Douglas napped or something like that. She thought I was gone forever, and she was, she was so scared, and she's running around the house trying to find me, but then she heard a little tiny baby Douglas giggle. And I had rolled over for the first time. I had rolled over and then rolled over again and again and again several times. And I rolled under the Christmas tree. And I was underneath the tree and I was looking up at the tree from underneath and I could see the lights. And apparently I really liked it because my mom said that I was laughing a lot when I was down there. But, you know, I've been looking into a lot of these traditions that we have, these Christmas traditions. And it turns out that a lot of them are not in the Bible. And, you know, I think that's okay. I think it's okay for us to have these other traditions like Christmas trees and Christmas lights and giving presents and things like that, stuff that isn't in the Bible, so long as it all points us back to what is really important. If you ever start thinking that Christmas is about Christmas trees, that's not good. Christmas is about how God sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. All the Christmas traditions that we have are all well and good, but if they pull us away from what's most important, that is not good. But a Christmas tree absolutely reminds me of what's important. Because see, there's actually some cool symbolism behind a Christmas tree. Because see, when we make a Christmas tree, we make it out of an evergreen tree. We make it out of a tree that is green all the time, even in the winter. So you know how in fall everything is all pretty because it's all getting red and orange and, and yellow and all the leaves are falling? Well, essentially, all those pretty leaves is just those trees giving up for the winter. Times get hard and those trees are like, well, I'll be back in the spring when it gets warm. See you later, guys. And they're pretty much dead all through the winter when the weather's nasty. But evergreen trees are green all the time, not just in the summer, but even in the winter when things are cold and nasty. And we use an evergreen tree for Christmas trees because just like an evergreen tree is constant and unchanging even when times are tough, so is God's love and his promise to you and to me and to everybody. Just like an evergreen tree is green all the time, even when times are tough, God loves you and me and all of us all the time, even when times are tough. And he's never going to go back on his promises. You know, the Bible is absolutely full of God keeping his promises to his people. But it's also full of God's people not trusting that God's going to come through for them. But on Christmas, we celebrate the fact that God kept his promise. And he sent his son, Jesus, to be our savior. God's love for us is eternal and unchanging. You know, the other thing that the Christmas tree reminds me of is it doesn't take a break. You know, in the Bible, it says that when the angels came down and they talked to the shepherds and they told them that baby Jesus was born, they said that this good news was for all the people. And they didn't just mean all the people in that season. You know, they didn't just mean all the people in Bethlehem or even the world at that time. They meant all the people, everywhere, ever. This gift of Jesus Christ is an eternal gift, a gift for all the people. And all we have to do is accept that gift. God keeps his promises, and his love is never failing. So I hope that this Christmas season, as you are putting up your Christmas tree, or if you see a beautiful tree with awesome lights and decorations and things like that, I hope that those trees will remind you of God's unfailing love. And I hope that when you and I see a Christmas tree this year, that it will bid us all place faithfully our trust in God unchangingly. Merry Christmas, guys.